<laughs> now I am. <laughs> Guys, Rebecca was shaping it down in a puppy, so I'm just, I'm seeing you can do that, too. And you've just got to be a little bit patient. And you've got to resist. You know, to them, really, my hand is no different than that strap at this point. The strap has no reaction. The only action is determined by them. And that's how you've got to think of it. You know, but you want to just start. You know, they're already. You know, and it's it's just honestly the suggestion thing. Just me moving right there was a suggestion to him. And I just, you know, wh where people go wrong with with a puppy is just how do we correct? And you just can't do that. And and not damage the relationship. Let's put it that way. Once they see you as that, oh, they're all over the place. Look that one. Oh, look, Crystal. That one's helping clean up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you little angel. <laughs> you know, but if, you know, and this is what I kind of think about with, with puppies. If, if they've got, you know, if it's, it's got a wind-up thing that has to sort of, you know, continually sort of be unwound for them to have, you know, some sense of, you know, peace or something in their life. Not always be straining at a leash, always the people never letting them loose. Am I wrong, Crystal? Mm -hmm. If you have a dog that you can't let loose, you're not able to fulfill its need for, for forward motion. I, I will just tell people that. You're not, let me see if I can suggest that this one lay down. Um, um, you know, you're just, you're not fulfilling its need for forward motion. You know, he says, I got a suggestion for you, lady. What an adorable dog. You need to text Mark and see what he's up to. Mark the lawyer. Because remember, the gala's coming up. I know, I know. Oh, there's a huge gala. I don't know if yes, you guys remember yes. from last year when Mark got the puppy that got auctioned off for $17,000. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Look, they're in a the little jungle over there. <laughs> oh, absolutely adorable. So if you said, you know, you know, and again, if somebody said, oh my God, that's my expensive landscaping, how do I correct them? You know, I honestly think that the best thing to do is if you just ingrain that recall, and they're sort of hanging around anyway. All right, let me see if I can conjure all five of them real quick. I bet I can. Puppy Rico! Oh, oh. look at this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and this one was on his little putty break, but he <laughs> But, you know, do you see how the brother just rammed into him? That, 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 there's no love lost. There isn't. <laughs> And that's why you can't get two litter mates. They start doing that all the time. And if you said, well, brothers and sisters are meant to live together, they're all like, no, they're not. Am I wrong, Crystal? Mm -mm. No. They're not. Mm -mm. They're not just a little bit. The reason they have that, you know, adversarial dynamic is just hardwired into them. You know, Darwinism or whatever. If I get in the habit of beating you up, if I practice beating you up, if I have to do it for real, I got all the right moves. It's basically what it boils down to. You just got to be able to be at peace with them. Like right there, I, I don't, I don't real, you know, I don't have any reaction. And look at this one. Look at me. If you say, well, what would you reward that? In looking at me. You know, but, you know, you've just got to see yourself. You know, if I did this puppy recall thing every day, it's, it's going to be very, very persistent in the dog. And if you said, well, what, hap what would happen if, oh, you precious angel, you know, it got to the point where it didn't do it. Well, you know, then you'd add, by then you'd already added your pager and stuff, though. But, you know, like Bumpers has got the textbook technical recall. And if you said, how many times has he had the nick? 
handful of times, but I, the time I remember was the time we took him down to the beach and he had, ne had never seen that there was no horizon. He actually thought the earth was flat and if you went too far. And I figured that out then. Who's that? My mom. Um, all right, well, all right, you guys, we gotta go. Kristen's getting a call. Ouch! Bye. <laughs>